Let's go to Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 through 6. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. So, let me say this. Do any human know everything about the spiritual realm? No. If anything, we may know parts and pieces. And with those parts and pieces, compared to the total view, the parts and pieces that humans know is very tiny, very, 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 very small. Even with the people who are in witchcraft and intervenes with demons, they know very little of the entire picture. So what this is saying, because of our limited knowledge, we need to trust in God with everything because we don't know really anything. For instance, wouldn't it be really foolish for a baby to argue with an adult? Like, how can a baby even argue with an adult? It would not make any sense, right? If you heard a baby arguing with an adult, you may grin or think that, hey, what is going on? It does not make any sense. Okay, it does not make sense for a human to believe that they have more answers than God does or a human believing that they can be their own God. It is just as foolish as a baby arguing with an adult. This is telling us that we need to trust in God for everything, even the things that we don't understand. Don't go by your own understanding because your own understanding is corrupted because if you really look deep inside of your own understanding if your understanding is not based upon the word of god the bible your understanding is corrupted and i believe that it is mixed with selfishness as well because if your understanding is not based upon the Bible then your understanding is going to be self-centered which is no good for anyone verse 6 in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths so what this is saying all together Trust in God, acknowledge God as your God and a person who you are always going to serve. By doing that, he is going to direct your path. So your path is not going to be as bumpy as it would be if you choose to neglect God. So your life with God is going to be much more easier. Of course, you are going to have tribulation problems when you serve God, but you are going to have much more problems when you choose to not serve God. So, as I stated in an earlier video, if a person told you you will have to feel pain, but would you rather feel the most amount of pain or the least amount of pain? To a person who has understanding, they would choose the least amount of pain. Because if you are going to feel pain, why not choose 
the least amount of pain. Think about that. Myself, I don't want any pain, <laughs> to be honest with you, but if I have to choose, give me the least amount of pain. Okay, God bless.